I'm very excited for my friend to come. It's been a while since I've seen her. So I have fruit salad. I've got some ice water with some lemon and I picked some mint from outside. We've got a quiche, some blueberry scones and a blueberry muffin. Then I'll make tea or coffee and then just some whole fruit there. But I just love it when people come over and even though this is so much earlier than I normally wake up, it makes me happy to start the day like this. It was such a wonderful visit with my friend. We've got fruit salad left over. The water was wonderful. I need to make a picture of that every day. The quiche, bacon quiche, I got it at the grocery store, but it's a really good grocery store. It's so good. I had some almond tea. She had coffee. And then we um, had some of the scones. Blueberry muffin is left over. And the best part was the conversation and seeing my friend. A few updates from the last vlog. Um, after my friend left, I got a text from my coworker about some cabinets that were up for grabs at school. Uh, so I took one from my classroom and it's very nice. It's gonna be really practical. Since I was going in, I took some of the things that I wanted to take in, like my pink Keurig. So that was nice to get it out of the house. And this morning on the porch was my new green one. So you can see we've got green happening in here, my favorite color. My replacement parts came for the diffuser, so hopefully I measured right and that works. Then I also stopped at a thrift store. They were having 25% off of the ladies' things. So this top was originally $2.00. So it's about $1.50. It's a Talbot's. It looks brand new. Loved the little detail here with the sleeve length. So that will be very nice for school because I can pair that easily with blue or black pants. So I got both of these sterling pieces for $9. Um, so this was marked at eight. So I guess it was six. And it's just a little sterling piece. I will add it to my collection. And then these say that they are sterling because my daughter needs sterling or gold. And they're do you see that? They have like little dandelion pieces in there. So her birthday is in the spring. And since they're in a box, I will probably save them because the dandelions come out then and her birthday. So these were marked at 35 and the lady said, that's crazy. We'll mark them at $6 like all the other earrings. And then it was a dollar, like 25 or 50 off. Um, so I spent, let's see, seven and nine fifty. So under $20 for these items, but I've got a birthday present, a great top that I can wear to work that a Talbot's top would have been much more than that at the store. Little sterling pin and this um, Ray Dunn birdhouse that says home. And I have heard that the birdhouses are desirable, but I don't know if that's the one that's got the little flowers and the garden stuff, but this was $5 and I took a chance on it. I thought to myself, well, if it's not really this find worth thousands of dollars, then it's a nice white three-dimensional piece that I can take into school and it will be perfect for drawing in perspective and shading. So either way, it will work out. Oh, so as I was at the thrift store, I got a text from the person who came to look at the bathroom and he gave us the quote and it's, Wonderful. So I texted back immediately, let's get it done. So he said he'd supply the basic building materials, the labor, the toilet, and the bathtub. And we have to do the tile, vanity, and fixtures. He also said the fan, but we just replaced that. And he said uh, the light, but that's something that we can do. Although if we pick one out, then he could just put it in for us. So why not? So I don't know what the timeline is. It seemed like it could happen pretty fast. So I need to get myself to the store to buy those things. Wish me luck, but I am very excited. It worked and it only took me less than a minute to, to switch it all out. And this is something that I would throw in the junk drawer. And then years later, we'd say, what the heck is this stuff for? So I have a little note in there that says that it's the diffuser parts. I'm gonna put it in here with the essential oils. I thought that was a good tip. You know how many things you get and you save those parts and then five years down the road, you don't know what it belongs to. It could belong to something you've already gotten rid of, but then you're afraid to get rid of it. We need to start labeling those extra parts. Um, but 
I would say I've had this diffuser for at least five years and that's the first time I've had to replace it. Now, I don't know if I'll have to replace them more often. I don't know how, like if the quality will last like the original, but I've got about nine more in there that I can use. So that could last me another 45 years. What a day it's been. And I am just bouncing off the walls with the thought of the bathroom. I mean, it's exciting to plan it out. It's gonna be exciting to have a new bathroom. It's gonna be exciting to watch the process. And it's also gonna be excited to have, like exciting to have something on your to-do list checked off. Right now though, <laughs> I need to calm down. And since I brought the shelf in, I would like to put some things on it and get this stuff up off of the floor. I had a request to read this letter and I will do my best. I am very much obliged to you for your kindness during the past a year. I shall remember you, your kindness and affection to my dying day. By the difference of language, a cordial understanding between you and me was not well, so I often did against your mind. I'm quite ashamed of this, but I think that I made every effort to raise up efficiency of base refueling, excel difference of state and race, not quite sure. To this you agree with me, to this you agree with this a little, I hope. But my request during my past one year was that you give me much works. A tragic fate of defeated country is coming firmly to me. However, I never dream of fighting America to this fate or hating America. I'm not sure. I made my efforts to the war during Ant America anti-Japan war as an army officer. But at that time, this efforts was normal way that normal man did, I think. In defeated country, men who made efforts to a war, except men who planned a war, are regarded as bad men. Of this, historians of, to those men, this is a matter of course, the coming generation will criticize, which is good, bad, normal. But I never think myself as bad. During the past one year, I touched an American living and so I got several kind of experience and instruction, indeed good experience to me. If I got some money to spare, this is chiefly due to your help. Every night after base off, I and my wife told each other of you and we were much obliged to your kindness. After this, we must again get into the circles that is suffering from in something and food and house, but I will make efforts to a victory of the circles. Please never mind. When I leave from here, I pray God give you longer life and more good health. To my dear Sergeant W. Wren, October 31st, 1947. For some time, I stay in the apartment that you know around next spring, till around next spring, my non-changeable address, Hiroshima, and then his, his address. I had a request to see this lamp up close and personal. So this lamp was a much taller lamp that had a rod that went through the center and all the bits and pieces were just stacked on top of each other. They weren't glued together. And I had my eye on it at uh, this, we'll say like, antique yard sale booth type store. And I finally decided to get it. Um, I wasn't crazy about the shape. This is what it looks like up here, open. And then the bottom is open. And this bottom part was part of the lamp. That's why it fits together so well. And we wound up just cutting a little bit of, I think a bigger hole just to put this lamp kit and cord in there uh, and it was pretty simple and this was the other piece so there would have been another gold-ish type piece of wood in between those 
try to pull it back as far as I could show you. So real tall lamp. So this one looks like a vase shape and all you have to do is maybe use a little caulk and put something on the bottom that was glass. Just caulk it to another piece of glass and you really could use it as a vase for fresh flowers and water or put something dried in there, some type of arrangement. Here it is up close. Um, the circles are not cut out, it's just clear glass and then a little gold rim and then some frosting around it. Like, and then these beautiful, I'm guessing hand painted because they're all different flowers, these roses. They're like enameled and glossy and raised. So that's the story of this globe lamp is that we took apart a larger lamp and I use it like this. I bought several books at the church rummage sale today. Uh, so I'll share the ones that I picked up. I got this one called Hummers, Hummingbirds of North America. The paper, the font, the illustrations really remind me of the country diary. New Orleans Creole Recipes by Mary Moore Bremer. And boiled shrimp, oyster pie, fish bouillabaisse, onion soup, raw onion soup, shrimp gumbo filet. It just sounds amazing. This is interesting. Um, it's called Amazon Vinegar and Pickling Works from Davenport, Iowa. Pure cider and wine vinegars. Authentic Patterns from the Past, Summer 1988 catalog, and it was $4 at that point. And I think that you really could order these things, or the, the what would I say, um, patterns at this point. Because it says, place your orders through your authorized Amazon dry goods. Also wondering, is this the Amazon we know today, and were they bought out? Do they still exist? I will have to look around a little on the internet. But right here it says 1900s ladies cloak, 1906 wedding gown. Inspired by Gone with the Wind. Then there's a photograph. Oh, interesting. So I guess maybe you could buy the patterns, especially if you were into reenacting. Maybe that was popular. It's different. What does the back look like? Well, first of all, I mean, that image is really cool. There's the back. So it says they have a second catalog, 81 pages of clothing and household accessories, fabric, sewing notions, hats, high top shoes, books, toys, and much more. This photography magazine, I'm gonna give that to my coworker. I think that he'll like it. Three field guides, weeds, flowers, and herbs and spices. These are new to me. I'm pretty sure I've had this one before. This is a Christmas miracle book with a CD included. Writings, images, and the CD is in the back. Probably classical Christmas music. A Parisian Cafe, a Literary Companion. Photographs, writings, illustrations. Basic Conversational French. And there are images in French and in the back there's maps I really liked that one that one is Paris it's got pink in the background that's a lot of states and it's interesting because I see this one that says Calvados I think that's how you say it and I have seen that on a couple things actually some of that letterhead that my friend gave me um, is there a wine called Calvados? Calvados? I didn't realize there were so many different states in France. Nice, nice maps. 
on really nice paper. A Victorian Posy. This one is different from the one that I picked up that was also by, and I don't know how to pronounce this, Pen Halligans. That is an expensive perfume brand. The names and the descriptions of their perfumes are like so amazing and exotic. The price is astronomical. At, I was lucky enough at the thrift store to get a little bottle of bath oil. That's Lily of the Valley. It is wonderful. It smells so good. I paid $2 for it, but I think a perfume last time I looked was like $200, something like that. Just not in my budget, but if you could find any of that, maybe somehow got donated or at a thrift store, it's nice. And this I think says it's scented. I don't really smell too much. Uh, but so now I have both of these books. I forget what the first one was. I think it talked about the symbolism and then this one says it's um, verse and prose. Gemstones. Homebody, I think that's Joanna Gaines. So this will be interesting to look at this. See some designs. So I don't really, I didn't really look at it. I just was like, oh, it's her, Joanna Gaines. Oh, some bathrooms, actually. And I think I mentioned it in the last video that we're gonna redo our bathroom and I definitely wanna do subway tile with black grout. Now the thing is convincing my husband. And what is this? Oh, this one's roses and it has beautiful photographs. So some of these might be for school and some of them are for my house. Like this roses book is gonna stay here. Look how pretty it is. I am heading to bed, but I wanted to share with you what I put over here where I had my curing and that I have been organizing, going through things, trying to be inspired by some of the stuff I have. So I've got a nice little pile on my desk of things that I'd like to make and I got some ideas and some things that hopefully I'll be able to share with you soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see all of you in another video. Bye.